Good morning, friends. Today we are going to do some canning. We haven't done any canning in a long time. So I wanted to make a three bean salad and <laughs> we need nine cans of beans. This is, um, it's sweet, but it's not too sweet. And it's one of my favorite uh, salad recipes is recipes. It's a three bean salad. And we are using, actually we're using four beans today. We are using um, yellow waxed beans. We are using kidney beans. We are using garbanzo beans and green beans. So I have three cans of the Del Monte green beans. I have two cans of our family waxed yellow beans. I have two cans of the Wildwood red beans. And then I have these are two different brands of garbanzo beans. These are the Great Value organic beans, and these ones are organic, just uh, garbanzo beans. So what I'm going to do is drain all of these beans. I'm going to rinse them, and then I'm going to put them in this pot right here. So hopefully this is going to be big enough to house all of these beans. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm not going to film that. I'm just going to rinse them. I'm going to drain them and rinse them, and then I'm going to pour them in this pot. Now that I have all nine cans of beans in the pot, I am going to cut up an onion. This is half an onion, but it's a really big onion. So I'm going to cut these up, and then I'm going to add the onion to the beans. Now I'm going to add two tablespoons of garlic. Okay, this is what our beans are looking like. Drained them, rinsed them. All nine cans are in this saucepan pot. And after I put them in the pot, I had some hot water, not extremely hot, just warm enough water, and I poured it over the top, and there's just enough water to cover the top of the beans. So now while I have the beans in the water, I'm going to start the brine. So let's go ahead and start the brine. We are going to need three cups of vinegar. I don't have a three cup measuring cup, so I have to use one cup measuring cup and we're gonna turn it on low. And I have to measure out two more cups. Oops, that's a splash. It's smelling like vinegar in here. Then I need one and three quarters cups of sugar. Okay, so there's one cup. Uh, about half. Just a little bit more. That's good. Not quite three quarters, but that's good with sugar. We don't need that much sugar. Okay. All right, we need four teaspoons of pickling salt, and I just have the Morton's. It's canning pickling salt. One, two, three, and four. 
Okay, we need one teaspoon of celery seed. We need one tablespoon of mustard seed. So three teaspoons is a tablespoon. There's one. Two, three. Now I'm just going to heat this to simmering. We're also going to add in one and three quarters cups of water. All right, our brine is done. We've got our beans soaking. So what we are going to do, I have all my jars soaking in hot water along with the lids. What I'm going to do is go ahead and bring this over here and I'm gonna start filling the jars. I'm keeping them in the hot water and then I'm going to fill them up to, oh, I need my, where is it at right here? This. Going to fill them up to half inch headspace. I really smell the garlic, but I love three bean salad. Not only does it look pretty, but it tastes so good. And I'm hoping to get at least four quarts. All right, now I'm just going to fill these jars uh, with the brine, and I'm just going to make sure they are half inch, it's a half inch above headspace. Here we go. 
Now I'm just going to debubble these. And the last thing I need to do before we put the tops on, I need to wipe the rims, make sure they're clean. Now I'm just gonna wipe the tops, a little bit of vinegar, make sure everything's nice and clean so my lids will seal. All right, I have everything in my canner. I have a Prestone canner. I can usually fit in six quarts, I think, six quarts. And for this recipe, we are going to process the beans, the bean salad for 15 minutes. But processing does not start until we put our weight on there. So yeah, um, as soon as I get steam coming out of here for like 10 minutes, then I will put the weight on and um, it'll process for 15 minutes, then I'll take the weight off and then I'll let it cool. So everything is in the canner. Um, I have three and a half quarts. I wish I would have had more, but I can always do this again next weekend if I have the time. It's an easy enough recipe. It doesn't really take much time at all. I think the most um, time consuming part is putting it in the jars. I think that honestly, that's the most time consuming part but it will take 15 minutes to process and then it'll be done. So we will be back when it's done. Good morning friends. Yes, it is the next morning. All of my jars have sealed. I took the lids off and you can tell they are sealed. You have to take the lids off to make sure they are sealed. So take your lids off and then if you can hold them like this, they have definitely sealed. And I also want to know that a lot of people will tell you that you cannot reuse these lids. You can reuse these lids. They will seal again. Just make sure that when, um, you take them off you're very careful with taking them off so you don't damage the lid in any way so you hear that that's the second time i've used this lid so still good i took it off and i want to give it a taste let's give it a taste see how it tastes oh it smells so good oh mm. yes mm. oh my gosh it is so good. Mmm. The green beans, or not the green beans, but the red beans get a little bit mushy because they are already cooked, but taste so good. I definitely recommend this recipe. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. Oh my gosh. It smells so good. So we'll probably eat this one throughout the week. Maybe we'll have it for lunches or dinner or something, but 
On that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.